Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install Black Arc Linux on your VirtualBox in your Windows machine. Now Black Arc Linux is a pen testing operating system which you should know already. Now the first thing we have to do is download and install VirtualBox so head to your Chrome browser and then search for VirtualBox. Now open the first page over here which heads to Oracle VM VirtualBox. And then by the left click on downloads now you can see VirtualBox for windows mac os and many other operating systems here so click on windows host and it should start downloading i already have this installed so i'm just gonna cancel that now open a new tab and then search for black Arc linux now you can see the first page over here click on it okay here we go now click on the download menu up here and then scroll down so you can see black arc linux 64-bit slim iso now this is what we are downloading so click on it and it should start downloading the size is 4.3 gigabytes so i already have this downloaded so i'm just gonna cancel it so make sure you download Black Arc Linux and also install VirtualBox. So after installing VirtualBox and downloading Black Arc Linux ISO file, then you can close the browser and then open your download folder. So this is Black Arc Linux ISO file which I downloaded earlier. Now open VirtualBox and then click on new to create a new virtual machine. So let's call this Black Arch. Now set the type to Linux and then set the version to Arc Linux 64 bits. Now click on next. Now set the amount of RAM you want to allocate to this machine. Also take note, you shouldn't allocate more than 40% of your RAM to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer. So I'm currently running with 16GB of RAM in my PC. So I think around 5GB should be ok. Same thing with the processor, I'm gonna give it a 3 core processor. Next. Now set the amount of storage you want to allocate to this machine. Now around 70 gigabytes should be ok. So I'm going to give it 75 gigabytes and then next finish. So this is the specs of our newly created machine but we have to make few changes to this. So click on settings up here and then go to display, increase the video memory to 128 megabytes, enable 3D acceleration. Now go to storage and then click on the empty disk over here. By the right, click on the disk icon, click on choose the disk file, and then select Black Arch Linux we downloaded earlier. Click on open, click on OK, and once we click on start, it should initiate the installation. So let's click on start. The password is Black Arch. Now this is just a live desktop environment. After logging we can begin the installation. So click on install black arch on your screen and then enter the password to confirm this action. Now set your language and then next. Set your location and then next. Set your keyboard layout as well and then next. Now click on erase disk so it is going to erase these disks and run the installation so we don't have to select any swap so just click on erase disks and then click on next now set up a name and login name for this machine password now you can log in automatically if you want to log in without password but that is no ideal use the same password for administrator account or you can set something different so i'll just use the same password next and then click on install now this may take some time but you just have to wait patiently so guys the installation is now completed now click on done and it should restart now just press the arrow key down so it doesn't boot into the installation again. So we have to close this machine so just power off. 
open VirtualBox. Now we have to remove the installation media so it doesn't install from the beginning again. So just go to settings, go to storage, and then click on the ISO file we attached earlier. Remove, remove, and then OK. Now we can click on start. Now log in with your password. And here we go. So basically, this is how to install Black Arch on VirtualBox. And this looks really good. So we can even click on view up here and then select full screen mode and then switch. And this would look like it's your main PC and you can use it for whatever you want to do. If you watched this moment and this video was beneficial to you, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.